Hey guys, if you want to see how I got this glittery makeup look, then keep on watching. So first I'm starting off with the Black Radiance True Complexion Contour Palette, the Cream Contour, and I'm just using that middle shade to color correct a bit, and I'm just using a fluffy brush, well I think this is like a small stippling brush to blend that in. Now I'm using the L'Oreal True Match Foundation in the shade N7, and guys this is such an OG foundation for me, this is my first ever foundation, this was the first ever foundation that I started using back when I was like 17, so I just started using it again and I'm in love all over again. So now I'm just going to take my Real Technique sponge and just blend that in. So now I'm using my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Fawn and I'm going to highlight my face. So I'm just going to highlight under my eyes, my forehead, my nose, a little bit on my chin and my cupid bone. So now I'm using the Fenty Beauty Matchstick in the shade Espresso, and I'm just going to use this to contour my face. I'm just going to apply that to my cheekbones, my jawline, and my forehead. And I'm just going to take this big blending brush or stippling brush, I think, and blend that out. Now I'm using a small angled brush to blend out my contour, just so that it is a bit precise. And I'm just taking that same contour um, stick and I'm just going to contour my nose. Now I'm just going to blend out that highlight using my sponge. Now I'm just going in with the Maybelline Age Rewind foundation and I'm, I'm the Age Rewind Concealer in the shade Caramel. I'm just going to go over my highlight with that just for some extra highlight. And then I'm going to use the Elegant Pro Concealer in the shade Fawn under my, um, what you call it? Under my <laughs> contour. <laughs> Guys, I'm trying to watch TV <laughs> and do this voiceover. <laughs> so I'm super distracted. <laughs> anyway, now I'm going to use the Beauty Be Agree Flower Setting Powder. And I'm going to set under my eyes and everywhere that I highlighted. I'm gonna try to stay focused here. And I really like this powder. I think I overdid it a little bit in this video, but on a regular day, it's a really nice powder. It's kind of like the Laura Mercier um, translucent powder. So now I'm going into the Black Radiance Contour Powder, the powder one. And I'm just going to use that middle shade to blend in everything all over my face. So that's like an all over powder. So now I'm going to take a fluffy blending brush and I'm going to take that same all over shade that I used from the contour palette. I'm just going to blend that into my crease.
and now I'm going to take this brown shade with another blending brush and I'm just going to add that to my crease as well so we're just trying to layer these colors on top of each other to create some dimension So now I'm going in with the It's My Ray Ray palette from BH Cosmetics and I really love this palette guys. I'm just going to use that um, dark brown shade and I'm going to use a small pencil brush and I'm going to focus that on the outer V of my eye and then lightly drag it in like up to two thirds of my of the crease. And I'm going to use a smaller brush, I can't remember what this brush is called sorry guys <laughs> but yeah I'm just gonna use that smaller brush and use the black shade from my Morphe 35B palette I'm just gonna add that to my crease now I'm just taking a small angle brush flat angle brush and I'm just going to carve out my lid and I'm using the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade 4 to do this and then I'm just gonna lightly blend it out but not too much so I can keep that um that black shade in the crease now I'm just using a gold eyeshadow I don't know the clip was lost my camera stopped working I'm sorry my camera shut off so I don't know which eyeshadow I use but you can just use any gold shadow that you have so now I'm using glitters these glitters were from Amazon I've had them for years and I just mixed all these shades with some aloe vera gel and that's what I'm going to use to adhere the glitter to my eyelids. This is always my method. If you look at any of my other videos where I have glitter, I use aloe vera gel. I don't use anything else. It's easy for me. It's safe for me and it works. And it really sticks to your eye like I had to really rub to get this glitter off my eye. So I'm just going to keep adding that to my other lid. And I will leave a link in the description box for these glitters by the way. Now I'm going back into that contour palette and I'm just going to take a angled brush and contour my cheekbones. You know, try to smash my face a little bit you know, so it's not too chunky. <laughs> Get that double chin sis. I don't know who I was talking to on the phone but I was just showing them you know my nose is snatched honey <laughs> now I'm gonna take my NYX jumbo pencil in the shade milk and I'm going to lightly add that to my waterline Then I'm going to take that brown shade that I use from the palette to contour and I'm just going to rub that under, blend that in in my lash line. Now I'm going to take this shade from the It's My Ray Ray palette and I think it's called French Toast and I'm going to use that to highlight. This is the, sh the color that I've been using or the highlight that I've been using for a while now and I really love this palette. It was like $14 so can't go wrong. I'm just going to add that to all the other places I like to highlight. Now I'm spraying my face with the Morphe Continuous Mist. And I'm going to take these two shades just to highlight my inner corner. 
of my eyes. Now I'm just doing a wing liner and the eyeliner that I'm using is Elf's eyeliner, the liquid eyeliner. Did you guys know that L stands for eye clips and face? Let me know in the comment section if you need it because I did not know it. <laughs> now I'm just using these lashes. Um, I will leave the description. I will leave a link in the description box to the lashes. I get them from Amazon. So it's really affordable. I get like two lashes in a box. So I'm gonna leave that in the description box. Now I'm using my Mac Honey Love lipstick. I'm just gonna blend that in. And then I'm using the Elf Lip Plumping Lip Gloss. Can't remember the shade, but I will leave it in the description box. I'll leave all the products in the description box, by the way. And I went ahead and did my hair, and this is what it looks like. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you want to see how I did my hair in this video, there will be a link in the cards above and also in the description box. So I'll see you guys next time. Mwah. Love you.